go. Know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Yes, sir. Kavegia. these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm, but we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Oh, he disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. something up there. I wonder if the World Serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here. the boat here. Yeah! 
right? Better. Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Kaveka. Last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? And not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk up long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy. I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. So, what other stories have you got? There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Oh, we will finish that later. Okay. Kavegia. 
to see him get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos? Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well... We can't expect them all to know something useful. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. So, what happened when the frog found the well? But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Can we finish later? Perhaps. I think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. Boy. Kvegia. to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistake, Spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. 
It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. So, what happened when the frog fell in the well? Wisely. They moved on. That's it? Yes. That's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. <laughs>